quadruple shoot. This time last year, that was known as a mass shoot. But, you know, now <laughs> they figured out who's doing all the mass shootings in this country, even though we here figured it out a long time ago. And make sure you get your merch, man. Definitely go get your merch. Oc Nation merch at the Oc Nation store. Link is in the description box. Got hoodies right now coming with more apparel in the coming weeks and months. Right now, I got the hoodies. Make sure you go get you one. Snug. They fit great. High quality. But we discovered who's doing this stuff a long time ago. We discovered who was doing this, these mass shootings a long time ago. And when it became a point of emphasis for the current presidential administration last year, they were focusing on this. And it was a big thing. We're going to mass shoot, mass shoot, mass shoot, mass shoot. Till they found out who was doing it. And now they're calling them quadruple shootings, quintuple, quintuple shootings, sextuple shootings. <laughs> and you saying we don't have no privilege? Let's examine this crime scene a little bit more thoroughly. Um, just another day in the stand. Just another day. I mean, four young men stand, standing out, hanging out. Car goes by, gunfire erupts. Three of them are dead. It's this nursery rhyme I've seen to my daughter. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping in the bed. Well, in this case, four little sun men hanging on the corner. A car came by and did what it wanted. The shot spotter alerted the cops and the copper said one son man wounded, three son men dead. United families are grieving, grieving loved ones killed in the last week as police in East St. Louis investigate. The mother of one of the victims has had it. News force Dion Broxton heard her outrage and is getting answers from the mayor. I couldn't believe it. My son was set up to be murdered. From Saturday to Tuesday, three people were killed in East St. Louis. 46-year-old Thomas DeWalt is the latest. He leaves behind his son. His father adored him, and, his, and he adored his father. DeWalt's mother agreed to talk to News 4 over the phone. Living in East St. Louis is hell. Now, this is East St. Louis, okay? East St. Louis. Not to be confused with St. Louis. So, St. Louis, very dangerous city, very extremely dangerous city. However, there's nothing on East St. Louis. East St. Louis is a smaller city, but the demographics in East St. Louis are bananas. And when she says it's living in East St. Louis, which is a different city, not a part of St. Louis, it's its own corp incorporated city. When she says living in East St. Louis is hell, I think we all know what she means. Living in East St. Louis is hell. She feels trapped and fears retaliation. If I could afford to, I would get the hell up out of here because I hate living in this damn city. She says her son was killed while working on someone's car. They shot my son while he was still laying up under their car. They had to bend down and shoot my son in his head. They <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.
I mean, I feel bad for this woman. I feel bad for her, and, but these sisters, man, they begged for this. I feel bad for her, though, because she, she, she's being honest. She's not talking about guns. She's not talking about turn yourself in. She, she, she's angry, and I love her energy, so I... My heart can go out to her because she's being, I, I like her energy. Because this, this is, this is a, this is, it's bad, y'all. It's bad. It's bad out in these democratically run cities, y'all. If I could afford to, I would get the hell up out of here because I hate living in this damn city. She says her son was killed while working on someone's car. They shot my son while he was still laying up under their car. They had to bend down and shoot my son in his head. Days later, she still struggles for answers from police. I called the, the, that number all night long, and all I got was a busy signal. I called the mayor number. This line is busy. She said, East St. Louis is hell. If I could move from here, I would if I could afford it. How do you respond to that? My heart goes out to her. I know that the chief uh, Perry and, and the East St. Louis Police Department doing all that they can do. Mayor Robert Easton. I mean, look. <laughs> With these type of demographics, man, this brother, he, he lucky if he survived to the end of his term, man. I just, I don't know what he can do, like, what can you do with this these type of demographics, man? <laughs> what what can he do? There's nothing he can do. It's literally hopeless. Like this situation is literally hopeless. My heart goes out to her. I know that the chief uh, Perry. And, and the East St. Louis Police Department doing all that they can do. The mayor says there's around 40 cops right now on the East St. Louis Police Force. He says he's hoping to add more in the coming months. Staffing has been an issue for quite some time in the city of East St. Louis when it relates to uh, public safety and police officers. Mayor Robert Easton did say he doesn't believe these killings are random. There are speculations about what's the, what, what actually is happening. While authorities try to solve this case, the city is busy trying to find officers to change Thomas DeWalt's mother's mind. I don't even feel safe in this city. Benny St. Louis, Dion Broxton, News 4. An afternoon shootout in Northeast D.C. People just shooting at each other. That was stopped after a D.C. police officer intervened, according to investigators. This happened at New York and Florida Avenues earlier this afternoon. D.C. police say the two shooters were just 13 and 14 years old. I know exactly where this is. I've been to that McDonald's. It's a Wendy's right across the way. I've been to this McDonald's or that Wendy's two, three hundred times. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot of neighborhoods around here. These kids could have been from any neighborhood, but 13 and 14 year olds having a shootout in broad daylight. Everywhere you go. This is going to go down. This, the woke apocalypse. The woke apocalypse is going to go down as one of the, well, the liberal media is not going to allow it to, but and we're going to make sure that they remember what they did to this country. It's just simply not safe. Think about those people in the McDonald's. You got a 14-year-old and a 13-year-old shooting at each other. That's dangerous, Jack. Um, it's dangerous for any of these people to be shooting at, around you because they're just haphazard, reckless. They don't care at all for the 14 and 13 year old they know that there's going to be no consequences older son men 
you know, they know that, you know, they may get out the next day, but they're eventually going to, you know, most likely, you know, it's a good chance they could go to court for it. You know, they've they've been to jail before numerous times. They've done into the prison numerous times. So they know the consequences of actions. These 13 and 14 year olds, they don't know. They don't care. They they can't. They'll have any. They don't know what 25 years means. They don't know what being in a cell for, you know, 10 years feels like or means or what it looks like. Or they just, you know, they may know through their daddy, their daddy in jail, and they never seen him. So they know from that perspective, but they don't know personally. So they're just shooting willy-nilly. They don't care who they hit, whatever. And this is a major intersect. Like, New York Avenue, Florida Avenue, that's like one of the main arteries to the city. Tons of cars right there. All the time. The ATF building is right behind this. Alcohol, tobacco, and firearms. Their headquarters. The stones throw from this McDonald's. All those people on their lunch break, you know, or just whatever, going to get something to eat at one of the restaurants around. And you got a 14 year old and a 13 year old just shooting it out in broad daylight. Afternoon shootout in Northeast D.C. People just shooting at each other. That was stopped after a D.C. police officer intervened, according to investigators. This happened at New York and Florida Avenues earlier this afternoon. D.C. police say the two shooters were just 13 and 14 years old. Let that sink in for a moment here. Two teenagers just shooting at each other during the day. Both have been arrested. Thankfully, no one was hurt.